greetings and welcome to episode 1 of this brand new Medieval 2 uh, Total War mod campaign my friends and the mod we're looking at today, the mod we're going to be playing and using today is the Last Kingdom uh, mod my friends, an excellent looking mod. Now I've never played it before, this is the first time I've ever ever played it. came across it completely by accident. Um, I always keep a check on what mods are out for different sort of the different total wars, just in case anything there that sort of piques my interest. And recently I've been watching a program on the BBC, sort of a, a series, like a dramatic a drama series like called The Last Kingdom about uh Britain where the last sort of kingdom I was obviously under the title um of Wessex was sort of fighting off the sort of then the Viking invasions of Britain. Um and I sort of I've really been really enjoying it. It's been really an excellent series. And of course I come I sort of completely found this by accident. I thought I'll have have a look at it. It got some really good reviews and excellent scores. So you could people sort of uh, you know give a mark for this like a score for the mods. This came out about 9.6 out of 10. So I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic based on what other people think, and have played it. And I just thought I'd give it a go here. I'm going to probably try and do this in two um, in a double upload. So you'll probably have two episodes going out at the same time, or one episode slightly behind the other, depending on how the uploads go. But basically, we're gonna have two episodes at the same time and I'll, I'll try and sort of put this into the schedule now and again it won't be a sort of a regular thing unless you want it to be a regular thing but I was just going to try and fit it in now and again between the different sort of um, other campaigns we've got going of Empire ones just to give a bit of variety as well for the Empire and let's just have a quick look my friends at the different factions you can play as here you've got the Kingdom of Wessex which is a pretty hefty w sort of a really strong kingdom down here in the south um, sort of south coast into the sort of s southern regions of uh, England here. Um, they've got powerful heavy infantry and almost no cavalry. Then we've got to the Kingdom of Mercia here in the Midlands, bordering Wales here. So there's the border of Wales here, that's Wales. Kingdom of Mercia and they've got powerful heavy infantry and almost no cavalry. So the same here as Wessex in terms of what their strength and weaknesses are. Then we've got the Kingdom of East Anglia here in sort of what would be sort of in latter day Norwich. Um, and again, powerful heavy infantry and almost no cavalry, so pretty much identical to Mercia here and Wessex in what you can and can't, sort of their strength and weaknesses and what you can and can't do. So cavalry, almost no cavalry is, is pretty, makes you pretty immobile, but then again, if you've got pe powerful heavy infantry, you're going to be pretty tough to break. And then you've got the Kingdom of Northumbria here, um, sort of in the northeast, bordering on Scotland. Scotland is here. Uh, we've got very strong heavy infantry here and almost no cavalry, so so again the same Sorry about that. so again the same for um all the other na the the factions here in terms of um the English sort of all the English factions here. Then we've got Scotland, the Kingdom of Alba. So with Kingdom of Alba then of course, which is Scotland now uh Latter day Scotland now. Strong infantry units, weak missile units, um, but they do, at least they do have cavalry here as well. Then we've got the Welsh faction, Kingdom of Gwynedd, um, which really is um, sort of got a small contingent here, small kingdom here of three regions uh, in the north of Wales. Uh, highly skilled archers. The Welsh have got the best archers, bar none, in the entire campaign. Their longbowmen are absolutely fantastic. Good skirmishers. Heavy units have relatively little arms. In other words, you're relying just on the toughness and the courage of the men fighting there to, to sort of for the heavy infantry. Then we've got East Frankish Empire, which is massive. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely huge. Um, but again, still a very, very good sort of start. I'd say a very good starting sort of region here as well. It gives you plenty of power, plenty of probably economic power as well, very so sort of strong cavalry units, expensive power, but you've got a well-rounded sort of army as it were, not really many weaknesses, expensive inf professional units isn't really a weakness because the size of the empire you're going to be able to afford quite a few good units here. Um, then we go into Kingdom of Connor, which is Irish here, three regions here in Ireland, sort of I would say the west of Ireland. Uh, units hurl javelins for charging and lack of archers, but again, probably can field a very well balanced army. Then we've got the Kingdom of Munster here in the south, um, and again, three regions I believe there's three regions there, yeah, and again, the same thing lack of archers can hear, hurl javelins. Then we've got the Vikings, Jarlum of Hordeland, again, here in Norway, um, led by the fierce King Eric. 
Uh, what we've got here, strong mini inventory and quality training, weak infrastructure and little cavalry. So in other words, they're relying on and raiding and taking taking you know the money and land from others to be able to sort of boost their power, boost their trade, boost their economy. Um, proper Viking raiders, but again, their infantry and their, their, their training would be absolutely exceptional. Then we've got the Kingdom of Denmark. Look at that, there's a lot there. That's a huge, massive, massive land they've got there. And what they've got, the strong, medium, infantry, powerful leaders, little cavalry, and poor quality land. So, in other words, our land isn't brilliant for sort of growing an empire as it were, so they need to expand to do that. They can either raid and attack their sort of their Viking sort of not brothers as it were, but they're the Viking rivals, or they could possibly move down here into the sort of the Frankish Empire, maybe strike down from Denmark, down, move down south here to attack. Then we've got the Jarldom of Vestfold, um, it's one of several minor kingdoms in Norway, so they've got quite a diverse, disparate sort of grouping of uh, regions here. Poor economic structure because, of course, they're so far apart from one another. And little cavalry, strong melee infantry, skilled raiders, so excellent raiders, they'd be good good raiders. And also Normandy here. Hulf the Ganger is a man stricken grievously with the Wanderlust. Um, so, in other words, little early cavalry and little land, strong melee infantry, powerful late period cavalry. So, if you basically get to the late sort of campaign with these, then they will prove to be very, very powerful indeed. And also, you can expand, you'd have to expand quite quickly, i.e. into Britain probably, to be able to really boost um, your income and boost your sort of the land you can use. But my friends, the faction that we're going to choose is not going to be Welsh, which I think many of you might think I might go for the Kingdom of Gwynedd. No, my friends, we're going for Scotland, the Kingdom of Alba. I've always wanted to play a Scottish faction, never had the opportunity to do so yet. So we're going to go for the Kingdom of Alba. It's got a very good starting location here, very lot, a lot of a lot of good territory here. Very, very going to be very, very strong here to start with. But we are indeed going to be very, very prone to Viking raiding. So we have to be very careful what we're doing here, making sure we secure no flanks here. Strong infantry units, weak missile units, we can live with that. We can live with them because we'll make the most of what we've got here in terms of missile units. Again, very hard difficulty and very hard battle difficulty. Uh, long campaign, whole 35 regions, Diara, um, eliminate factions, Kingdom of Northumbria, Kingdom of Connor, and Kingdom of Munster. So we've basically got to take Ireland and we've got to destroy um, the Kingdom of Northumbria. And we've got to take, pretty much take Britain as well. Which is what we're going to do, my friends. Uh, no battle limit on the time. Let's do this, my friend. Let's start this campaign here. Oh, look at those shields. It's a fantastic looking shield here. We're still the Normans playing this. Please ignore this event. So I've never played this mod before. It's the first time, so we're going through this together, my friends. First of all, let's look, look at the land we've got. Let's look at what we've got available to us. So we'll start here in the borders here between England and Scotland. So air. Here, oh, it's like that. Not much growth here. Population is decreasing here in the borders. I wonder why that is. Could be to do with tax. Could be to do with tax. We've got wine. We've got wool here. We've got lots of wool here as well. That's a huge amount here. Then we've got Crinan. We've got the population growing here. Then we've got Dun Kailian. Scottish village. Then moving up to the highlands here. We've got Blam. McFall, McFall Touch, Scottish village. Then we've got In Hib, In In Behirnis. Wow, excuse my pronunciation of these. Scottish capital. That oh, that's an excellent looking town. Town here. Rig, Constantine, the wine bound. I think I've quite have to look at what that might be. We've got a lot of options here. A huge amount of options, including mines as well. Then we got Elgin, Girik MacRath. Look at that, no population growth at all. Looks like we might have to lower the taxes here to pull in the population growth. It's the only way we're going to be expand here in the Highlands. But we've got In Inherinis here. In Behirinis is the capital here. I'm not sure if that would be Edinburgh. That would be Glasgow here. That'd be Edinburgh. I'm not 100% sure. But we've got a lot of options here. Let's have a look at our money. Oh, look at that. That is 8,024. That's a huge income. 
Their army upkeep is massive, but we've got good taxes here. 9,199 corruption. King's push is 3,000, that's pretty good. But I think we have to lower the taxes here in in Pyrenees and also Elgin. So I think the first thing to do is lower taxes to try and get this growth going here. Because sixth is almost not too far away from getting the next level of settlement. And also here as well. It'll affect our income, but it's better to have growth. And 2,000, we're only two away from the next level here, so we definitely want that growth to increase here. Barley farm. I don't think... Horse mill, three, that, look at that population growth there of 0.5%. We if we can boost the population growth there, that would be excellent. We've got to be careful of raiders in that as well, we really do. Scottish Spy is my king. thing to do is send it into the borders. That's they shall not against. see me, sire. <sighs> Moving quietly. So we've got no sire, capital no here at all them. Day. We've also got Dumfries here as a rebel town. That would be an excellent catch for us, it really would. Gilech. You're on. Scottish diplomat. I wonder if we were to try and. I'm not sure we're going to get PC with these because we got. Our relations with them, I think, is pretty bad. Enemies are. Both of them terrible relations. Kingdoms, well, they're abysmal, so we're definitely going to be raided by the Vikings eventually. So I think it's probably I'm best Lord. if we move down into trying some other. And some of the other. Move down to try and find some of the sir. other. Factions here. His some of the journey English is factions. Over, sire. Scottish Bard. Your Highness. I believe the Scottish Bard is equivalent to the priest where you can convert the populace to your culture. So at the moment, 90% Celtic culture here. What we will do, I think, is move into the scene 0% Celtic. If we can sort of really Godspeed. instigate sort of a, a cultural shift here. Arrest now, sire. Arrest now, sire. That would be excellent for us. And of course, we've got merchant the merchant at here. your service. 37 for wool. What else have we got here? we got. I believe that is logs or timber. Is that is that silver? Whoa, 45, but wow. Well, we're moving up to take these. On my way. Definitely. I'll not be going any further today. What's our income now? 7705, 1205 here. Oh, look at that. That's, a, that's really suffering quite badly here. The lower the tax rate here. I wonder if we put in a horse mill here to get the population growth up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to try and build our bank here a little bit. That's a big hit there, that's a big hit there. If we can get that up and stabilised, because we've really hit our... I wonder if these could take a hit, or they can actually, so we can increase the high, we can have high tax rate here. So we can sort of offset that there. And what's the 2% here, if we put that to high, that'll offset the losses we've had here. Let's reduce that quite nicely, but look at the expenditure. We're actually going to be suffering quite badly there from that, wow. I wonder if we let this just s sort of stay as it is at the moment. Maybe we can sort of invest late all roads, dirt roads, definitely have dirt roads here. That'll increase our income. 57. Let's get that linked to the rest of Scotland. Forest clearing. Got to be careful of these raids here. We're going to have. What can we recruit? Ho, 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 ho. Highland clansmen. Look at that. Those clansmen are as tough as nails. Celtic hunters are good. Very good bowmen. Not as good as the Welsh longbowmen, but still. We've got a good, diverse set of culture. If we can get this running up in here, here this. Can we recruit any? Nothing here. Nothing here either. Nothing here. We wouldn't, we'd have to take that town out there. This Dunfries here would be fantastic. We could take Dunfries. I 
at your service. My friends, let's end the first turn here. Ah, wine bountiful. Reek cons constant costin Corsetin the wine bountiful. Cretus General Girik Macrath. Let's end the tumor and let's see what happens here. Ah Disloyal, no, definitely not. We don't want anyone disloyal in this in this army at all. Excellent. That's 280. We're doing actually pretty good here. Not too bad at all. Financially not brilliant. The Vikings, of course, are the best. Your Highness. Push into the borders here. Very good, sire. Look at that. Devonborough is not brilliant at all. We could take Devonborough if we were to combine. Yes, my king. They shall not see me, sire. Moving quietly. Your honor. Yes, sire. A lot of, lot of rebels around here. A lot of, of course, rebels. sire. Welsh merchant. Ayago. some of the farmlands here. I wonder if that would boost growth. Hundred and forty two, not brilliant. Midden four hundred health public health bonus. Law or public order due to the law. I want to get a trader here, that would be very nice to get a trader. But not yet, we just got to watch. I wonder if we were to recruit. What's the upkeep for these? 180. Let's get one of those, shall we? Gotta be careful what we're doing here. Let's end the turn. We've got to watch out for those Vikings. Confident attack, a handsome, eager, loyal, cunning and cruel. It will take him on, I think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's pretty close. Wow, they're gonna get absolutely slaughtered. Come and get me, Beric. coward. My damn, that's a lot to fight. Merchant at your service. That's gone up. That's gone up nicely there. Oh, now it's growing. Now it's growing. Forest clearing. I wonder if we just get a forest clearing and start some of these. That's okay. Just got to get that control here of what we're doing in terms of what we're producing. Same grown population. Basically, we need for our food and that. We've got to just play this very, very coolly here, my friends. Very coolly indeed. The Vikings are here. My God, they're going to be tough as nails to, do, to deal with. The two nine. East Frankish Empire is absolutely the best you can get here. I wonder if they could deal with the Vikings by themselves. That would be nice. At your service. I 
think we'll maintain our spy here, just between here. This this strategic overview we've got here is very nice. But look at we've got these two rebel towns here. If we could take these two towns and strengthen our hold here on the border. Actually, yes, what is my king. On my way. God, that's a, oh my goodness me, that is a massive army. That is absolutely huge. I think we've got to start increasing our our in our military very very soon. We got a mine. Oh, 240 income. I think we're going to invest in a mine there. Oh my goodness me! It's difficult to decide. See, we've got to get that warriors hold 5,000. Small farms. If we get that, though, that would be a huge increase here. That initial hit would be pretty big. Let's do that. How long is it going to take? Two turns. Actually, we can't really afford to take that because we're going to be under quite a bit of pressure. Let's end the turn and see what happens here. Can I be of service? This had best be worth our time. I must say, we are not convinced. Okay. We hope for more fruitful parley in future. Fine, we should go to the. We should go down yes, to the Welsh. Sir. Today's journey is over. And Today's and journey is over. See if they would be more over, willing sir. to parley with us. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That investment there is. Looking very nice indeed. Production is stagnated here. At your service. Where exactly are you going, my friend? Yes, my king. What we will do is we'll just over watch here, me, especially with the Vikings. They've taken Northumbria. Or have they? No, they haven't. Or have they? I might have fallen already, but we're going to check. I'm going to see if we can get an alliance with Welsh, get some trade with them. Oh, it's clearing here. It's growing there quite nicely. <sighs> Vineyards. Oh, tax income bonus, 5%. Now that would be a, a really nice investment there, vineyards. Oh, oh, Celtic warriors. I think we'll start recruiting here in the borderlands. Forest clearing there as well, I think we'll do that next turn. Some quick turnarounds here, my friends. Can we wait? Can we Gwyneth? Connor, Master Hall. That's it. Excellent. Oh, that's excellent to see. Okay. Oh, that looks like Ireland's gone to war. Ireland has gone to war. That's excellent. This forest clearing, so we're going to get that land growing for the people. Military are nine. Our production is stalled here, but financial is actually gone. We're thirteen at the moment. No fool, send your emissary to me. <laughs> Awaiting your command. What is it you wish to discuss? Trade rights. You hold us at ransom, and you <laughs> know this. Very well. What else do you have to suggest? An alliance, maybe? It's good to see we yes. could reach an agreement. Good That's day a to strong you. alliance to get. Now, I wonder if we can move down to here. Maybe the rest of, of course, sire. the ink. Well, ah, Today's the journey they is move, over, they, sire. Maybe get some trade with them. Today's journey yes. is over, sire. Wales and Scotland have joined the alliance. That's a good strategic alliance for us. Now, village council. 
any land of, and the land of the land clearance we can do here. So we slowly start to build up. That mine has a big investment there. Forest clearing, we'll go for forest clearing here as well. And again, that will prove it's worth two turns. Again, this is that steady flow, my friends. Of that's right. You take the sheep there. That's no problem. Move Gwyneth. Ah, proven commander, common defender, siege expert, marks of war, handsome, generally loyal, winning first. I think that is an excellent general to have. Trade increased. Oh, plus receiver, plus re one authority. Excellent. What a brilliant. Oh, 673 here. And again, I think we're going to increase our Bardic Circle. I think I'd rather. That's going to keep us still in the profit if we get a Celtic warrior in in Berenius here. Merchant at your service. If we get into the merger, we could take that there. That'd be fantastic. But we're going to try and look at get trade trade some trade alliance here with the Kingdom of Mercia. I, my lord. Opening. What is it you wish to discuss? Seems like a most reasonable deal to me. Excellent. What about... No, they're obviously not going to... they got some strong allies as well, but they're enemies of the Vikings. And they're obviously not going to alliance, because of course we're allied Until with... Until we meet again, sire. Um, the Kingdom of Bills is going to do that for us. So we can move further down south here. Yes, sire. It's Worcester. We have income. 23 trades 419 at the moment. Again, let's end the turn. Where exactly are you heading, good sir? Ooh. Yes, let's do that. Let's see if we can get that family tree expanding here. Yes, excellent. 602. Forest clearing. Oh no. Mile Muir. Plus two chivalry. That's a hit right there. That is a big hit there. That's due to recruiting those units. <coughs> now we could go for 4,000 here and get that income there from the mine. That's a big chunk of change right there, that really is. And that would drop quite quite vigorously here. The trade fleet. At least that trade, we could go for a bigger trade here. Coastal clearance, that's going to hit us pretty hard there. Ooh. But that would increase our trade. Mind you, if mining was to go up. Let's see if that, if I see that trade there, that should help our trade. Actually, we're just clearing the coastal clearance here. Would it be better to invest in the mine here? Let's see if that's going to give us, because it's going to give us 240. Let's see if that'll help us. In the long run. Initially, it's going to take a hit fight from the finances, and we can still keep investing as well. Oh, yes, it will indeed, good sir. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh look at that, they've hit Ireland. 
But I don't think they're going to get too far, to be honest with you. It's a pretty strong Irish held territory there. Woo. Again, we're going to recruit. I think we've got to have some Celtic hunters here. This is going to be our main armory here. And we're also going to start recruiting down the borderlands here. We really want to take this territory here, this town here, if possible. At your service. On my way. What the heck are they doing out? Have a claymore for you here, Jim. Yes, my king. They shall not see me, sire. Turn around here. Kingdom of Rusia, good. Excellent. Yes. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Mines have completed. Look at that, 312 there for mining. That's going to build up quite nicely here. Ooh, Kenneth. And we've got pretty good, actually we're not doing too bad, production is 6, population is 6. Kingdom of Munster is financially the best off at the moment. Right. We can't build a few of these here. The vineyards will give us an increase in tax bonus. A 5%, but that's a big outlay right there, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to get some Celtic hunters here. Not just not push ourselves too far here, but get them get them in where we need them. What can we get here? Barley farm. Increasing tradable goods. We might go for that next. What's the income? 5139 we'll have then. That's not too bad at all. We've got this mine here as well. Oh actually. Merchants at your here. service. Moving down to here. Aye. Opening a new trade lane, sire. Well, well, well. Mission trade 104. Wow. Let's end the turn, my friends. Kingdom of Mercia. We must stand with courage, men. The enemy lays siege. What? Oh, God, look at that army. That is... Oh, my goodness me. What the place they they they're reading two Oh up here as well they're reading. I didn't even know this is up here. Wow. The Vikings are gonna be an absolute menace. Unbelievable. some troops down here I think got to cut our cloth accordingly here how the heck are we gonna see off these look at these these are absolutely as tough as nails look at this Whoa, berserkers fantastic what a wonderful troops they've got there, the Vikings. We are in deep trouble here. The 
There's no point in pouring money into that. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Let's take that. Profits of 14, not too bad at all. Let's get out, let's see if we can get any more trade. Your Honor. Of course, sire. Yes, sire. Today's journey is over, sire. Ah, they've just left it. They have they just raided it and left. Right. Oh, we can retrain. No. Where can we invest here? Coastal clearance doesn't create a increase no trade there. Horse mill. It's a pretty big investment, but it's increased the tradable goods. Let's do that. It's a big hit initially, but we should increase our trade. Mission trade of 84. Trade should go increase then. We're trying to get our trade up as much as we can here. That rebel village has been hit here. They've raided air, but they've then left. Oh, they're here. Let's end the turn again. Oh, oh, oh these raiders. There. Let's do this. Let's get as many as we can out of here. <laughs> Look at that. Damn, these are the Vikings going to be an absolute menace. Can I be of service? Of course, sire. Today's journey is over, sire. Fair and plus one chivalry. Excellent. Ooh, that's a big hit right there. 4,460. Not too bad, but not brilliant either. We do un ideally need to take one of these towns here. At your service. On my way. So Dumfries would definitely they shall be a real... Not see me, sire. Yes, my... Can we get in there? Can we get in here? They won't ken I'm there, sire. They're pretty strong, Gaelic mercenaries are strong. Karada, no wonder the Vikings didn't go for them. Ooh, excellent. Good spy now, that's a very good spy indeed. What we need to increase. What we got here as well, I think we go for spear militia like. I think we're going to go for some more Celtic Hunters here. Just to give us that extra range. That ability to strike hard. Right. Let's end the turn. Yes, Northumbria, good. Brilliant, that means that tree is going to increase. Oh, good, good as well, excellent. We're slowly building up our military bit by bit. Ooh, 796 here. So our taxes are going up because we're getting more. Merchant trade is going up. Mining is going pretty well. Trade is going up there as well. Farming is doing brilliantly for us. 2,130. So if we increase our farming... That's the way to go. 
go is increase the farming. Small farms, 2,000. Small farms here. And what we'll do is we'll increase the small farms here. 2617, but we need to increase this here, the farming. Actually, what we will do is we'll stop that there. We'll just let this increase here over treasury, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of a buffer. Where are those Vikings? They've disappeared. We're still in here. Keeping eye on these rebels. I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. That's a pleasant man. Right, let's end the turn there. Ah, there they are. There they are. We want to try and get trade with these gentlemen here. That's going to give us extra trade. I think silly rebels. Awaiting your command. What is it you wish to discuss? Just trade rights. Just trade rights. You hold us at ransom, and you know this. Until we Got meet trade again, rights. Sir. Excellent. Can we get across to Ireland? I wonder. Travel back up to here. Kaya Llewellyn. We need to get across the island if possible. That would be excellent for us. It really would. We'll make our way back up here. Yes, sire. Today's journey oh, is plus two over. Chivalry, sire. Plus two. Plus. Plus one magic. Minus one purity. Oh, five two nine one. Farming has gone down. Probably because it's winter. Not doing too bad actually. Population is pretty good. Ideally, we want the farms to be up here where we can keep an eye on them and they can be safe. So we'll do that. Oh, that's going to hit us hard there, but cr we want to keep that farming and you can keep. It ain't come very, very strong there for us. Remember, this is going to be a very slow process here, getting ourselves where we can start to face and fight off against some of these. But we could take some. Dumfries would be a superb region for us to take. We don't have the army to do it yet, not that. We don't have the power yet to take that on. That's a pretty experienced unit there, but if we get enough troops together here in air. Maybe it can look after itself here. We can even retrain some of these as well. We won't do it just yet, but look, we can retrain these. They will become very strong warriors indeed. Let's end the turn, my friends. If air can look after itself, look at all these different... They're reading the trade lines there. Not looking too bad. That's gone down the farming there, which is not. I'm not happy about at all. the turn. What we will do is we'll recruit. Actually we'll retrain here. If we got if we've got some strong gentlemen who've been retraining here, they will be ready for war. That's what we'll do, I think. We'll retrain this gentleman here. And get them really tough. You've got a tough, tough army here. We're able to stand on their own. Then we can start to push back against these rebels here. But duck Have rebel a claymore for you here, Jimmy. No doubt you do, my friend. No doubt you do. What if I to get across to... Ragnarald. Marjhal comes to age. He is a promising large actor who becomes known as Gungi Hurflur because his huge size made it impossible for him to ride. Even large horse, the noble family in Norway watched this young man with interest. Cool. Lincoln's been hit. Whoa. They've hit Ireland pretty hard there. There's some foreboding and Lindsay as well. Lincoln. Yes. 
plus two or plus four should be plus two authority even better. Excellent. We really are starting to push ourselves here. Four nine five. We've got to get that farming up there. Has that finished? Not yet. Soon it will. Now can we invest any more farmland here? Trade to trader. We're increasing tra our tradable goods. Two turns. Any more farm here. here, nor here, but here in air, we could do that. It's a pretty big hit there, but still, we'll end this turn. Now, that other farm should come on stream, though. That will give us a, s a pretty big economic boost there. Kingdom of Munster, Rebels, Normandy. If we could get across to Island. But for that, we need a boat and we need ships. And we can't do anything yet. Fishing grounds. Oh, look at that. That's more like it. Farming's gone up there. And it should go up here as well once that is complete. But look at that. That's pride. That's taking. That's for the taking there. That would be the, probably the best thing for us to take. Mind you, we'd be hit by the Vikings. We need to clear out these here. Maybe even this village here. At your service. Oh. Then Eden. Oh my goodness me, that is an exceptionally strong garrison. Good grief. I have to dig them out of there, I think. Coastal clearance, that's going to give us access to those. Bardic Circle. Barley Farm. Let's increase our Welsh skirmishes. We need something that pow packs a punch here. I'm going to go for Celtic Hunters here. Again, we're just watching this. Not overstretching ourselves. That's good. Small farms. Plus three chivalry. This gentleman here really is proving himself to be... Mac Ildlib. I'd love to get air here to be really, really strong. We can well actually, we could probably retrain here as well. This, these hunters. It's not going to hurt us too much. Let's end the turn. Vikings here. They're absolute menaces, those Vikings. means improved trade. Look at that. We trained. <laughs> ah, Brachin. That's gone up there. Trade has gone up. Taxes have gone up as well. Now how long until this grows? 6,000, that's growing quite well. They're at 1%. Growing quite nicely as well at two percent. Air here. Blam Mac full tech. One percent. That's got a ways off yet. Same in Bahirness. Dun Chalian. And Elgin here is almost ready to be expanded actually. So we're doing pretty well here. 
we could get the next settlement here, this could be a, a town next. Horse mill here with population growth. We're looking for is to boost our income. That's a pretty big. I think what we'll do we'll just hold back till we get some more money in here. But can we retrain here? Make sure this garrison is well able to deal with whatever comes its way. Yes, we can. Let me turn. well no ooh, 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 ooh. grain pit as well good sir oh now we're getting some interesting I think we need to recruit this army up here in Baris and eventually we're going to build this army up here we can retrain that one there but that might take us into a negative I know it won't so actually we can do that got good growth as well low taxes I want to try and get coastal clearance so we can open up that port eventually we will have Scotland bursting at the seams with all the good stuff here your honor. I cannot go there, sire. Let's get him back here so when we do get able of to course, sire. get those ships up and His journey is over, sire. Fishing grounds, that'll definitely be a good boost boost, boost to us there. Let's end the turn, friends. A tough one. Excellent. Eight nine seven two one six nine. That's gone down there. The farming. It was two thousand two hundred. Aye, my lord. Yes, sire. We got a barley for your farm, I think. It's a pretty big hit there on us. But if we get bad, let's increase our trade. We are trying to boost our trade quite significantly here. Almost there, almost another town. That's definitely going to be a benefit to us, it really will. Here we want to try and increase this. Well, we can. But not just yet. Turn, turn. Ooh, being raided here. And it's going to be sieged. I think it's time to start looking at raising an army here. To deal with these gentlemen. And start taking some of these rebel towns. Especially Dun Eden here. Yes, my king. On my way. We have to clear this army. I'll first. rip off your head and spit down your neck. Looks like they're going for their they may be able to hold, let's hope they can. We don't want any Vikings on our back door as it were. Might go for barley farm ourselves as well at some point. 
pushing onto their tender two. Dorset or Dor or Dorchester. Yes. Why should we doing too bad there? Ooh. Northumbria have gone. Does this mean it's all Viking? Viking capital. Wow, the Vikings have taken Northumbria. That is not good for us. We need to start stepping up. Our armies here. sure this this army here guarding air is going to be superb just in case the Vikings come across here decide like they want a piece of us your honor I'm going to start really digging in here because we've got to build up some armies here to deal with the Vikings I my lord of course sire Your Highness. I'll be damned if we're going to be caught out here. Your Honor. Excellent. Our relation with the Welsh is excellent here. It's like to push pretty well here. 23 only. So I'm going to keep it starting to put a massive amount of pressure here on us. So here we've got to get these trade goods up and running so we'll put some trade goods into here because the trade here is going to link directly to them here as we need some trade goods here as well we can actually get two field system as well here look at that oh look at that yes wooden palisade In the turn. Wait a minute. Now they're eating Worcester. Damn, these Vikings are absolute menace. That's more like it. the taxes there. Maybe push high taxes into there. Just to try and boost our taxes here. That's more like it. I'll be damned if we're going to be squashed by anybody coming in here to try and take it this. In the turn, it's be the last turn here you now, my friends. Oh, look at that! The Vikings are building up a massive army there. That is ridiculously large army. Ardgar. Excuse my phone, here, my friends. Wow.
Oof. Any increase here, but record this bonus should help me in the snow. I'm going to start to be the last turn now, my friends. My damn, this is so addictive, it really is. Yes. <sighs> David, what else has been hit? Potential 12. Actually, we've started to pull the fences around a bit here. That's good to see. field here on south tree. The farming is doing pretty well here but it does fluctuate quite a bit. I think we'll do that. Just to give ourselves that income from the trade. We have to be ready for this Viking army because it will come forth. Can I be of service? Opening talks with their dignitary, sire. Oh, it's been granted. Oh, look at that. The Vikings. We have got trigger of Vikings. And was, oh, that is so good. That is fantastic. Well, my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, my friends, your comments are going to be most welcome here. They really are. Let me know what you think I should do. Let me know what I'm, if I'm doing anything wrong. Remember, this is the first time I've ever played this mod. But let me know, because it's something seems a little bit different from the standard sort of vanilla version of Total War. Let me know what you think I should do. Where should I strike? Which town should I hit? Where should I be aiming for? Now we've just, now we've got peace here with the Vikings. We want to try and make the most of that and take these cities here from these rebels. It really will prove massively useful to us, especially if we can slowly creep into sort of um, English territory here. It'd be fantastic. But please, my friends, let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. Um, look out for another episode. I'm going to try and upload two episodes at the same time if possible. I hope you enjoyed it, my friends. And hope everything is going well. Hope you have a good weekend. Hope you have a good week coming up. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.